Okay, we are continuing with our uh, small signal model before we start amplifier. Typically, as we have so, so far solved equations, the equivalent circuit of a MOS transistor is shown here. This is your gate, this is your drain, this is for common source. This is your source, which may or may not be grounded in some cases, it may be. And then there is a bulk, and uh, we believe that all capacitances are right now not relevant in the low frequency range. Essentially, it means 1 upon omega c is such that it open circuits everywhere. Okay. Okay, so, assuming that you can see there is a input voltage of VGS which is equal to uh, input voltage of V in and since gate has no connection resistively to the source, this is open and therefore, V in is equal to V G S. At the output side and the drain side, you have the current source which is G m times V G S or G m times V in plus and there is another current source which is due to the V S B substrate bias which will give me a G m B V S B term shunted by R 0 as the output resistance. Now, if this is the low frequency model and in many cases since we are interested in the MOSFETs or MOS circuits bandwidths, which is the frequency at which gain is at least reasonably constant. Uh, for those frequencies we will require capacitances and uh, this is an equivalent circuit which is called high frequency small signal models. This is most important all this analysis always has been done for small signals uh, and the issue we shall raise little later if there is not enough small signal word satisfied what do we do. Okay. That is one of the major issues right now in most uh, new devices and circuits. You can see from here source has small resistance R s dash which is the source region resistance n plus region resistance R s dash. Similarly, there is a drain region resistance which is R e dash. The rest part is similar this then there is a capacitance across the C g s gate to source capacitance which we declare as V g s and there is a capacitance between drain and gate which we call C g d. Then at the output side there is a G m V g s as the one current source G m B V b s b as the another current same as this plus and they are 0. So, they are same. Now, what is difference is there is a capacitance between gate and bulk. Sometime it gets screened, sometime may not get screened, but we should show it in case it is screened we just remove that. Then there is a resistance which is associated for substrate. Okay. That is called R s b. Then there is a resist capacitance between source and bulk C s b. Then there is a capacitance between drain and bulk C d b and there is a resistance of the drain side which is R d b. Now, these, these are essentially equivalent of a diode you know R into parallel C is what the R C combination. So, these are those resistances in R normally are very high so open circuited, but as a logic we must put them and then say okay, they are large small and may remove them out, okay. but this is total small signal high frequency equivalent model of a MOS transistor. And in case you want to solve this, the easiest way is to figure out the values of each of them and there are number of loops or number of nodes whichever way you want to solve Kirchhoff law, you will be able to solve V 0 versus V n relation. That is what we are looking for at the end gain V 0 by V n. Since I have enough nodes or enough loops, I can solve as many unknowns as many nodes or as many and as many meshes and therefore, you can always solve this circuit we will give a small example to show how do we solve that. In all analysis please take from me that this may be a very good this at the end of the day we will not solve actually all the circuit by hand, but to start something on CAD we need some hand calculations. So, in that hand calculations all modern can be simplified because you are only trying to get the first guess. Okay. In that case all these de detail values may not be required in many hand calculations. Though there can be some error in hand calculation I will list them out what happens if you do not take care enough in case of designs. 
However, this is the model which we will be using for a MOS transistor and uh, this is shown common source, but it does not matter you can tilt any angle to make it common drain or common gate whichever way you are. the circuit remains or the equivalent circuit remains same. That is it is an channel all these device unless had otherwise devices are in channels if there is a CMOS part there we will explain that CMOS again okay. There is a resistance associated with this region and there is a resistance associated with this region. After all there is a semiconductor regions and they may have heavily doped so the resistance may be very small less than 5 ohms or 3 ohms sometimes depends on the area. Now that is where the problem started why we started looking into it if you see a rho L by A as the R you may actually reduce rho because of doping higher dopings but this area also is going down because you are scaling. So if you scale down this area may not be as uh, what it was earlier it may be 100 times 1000 times lower. So essentially R may not be as small compared to what we thought in the long channel devices. So please take it that why this new models have added these terms because they may be dominant terms not very dominant but they may actually change the pole positions or zero positions and therefore one must take care in solving any question of law on any circuit is that clear. In normal case we neglect them we say it is few ohms the others are kilo ohms so forget it if they are in series. But if they are in shunting then they will be the one who will matter, matter most of it. Then. So one has to take care of all this in writing as circuit requires comes we will remove the terms which are not relevant in evaluation is that ok n plus this is like a three dimensional device okay, a three dimensional resistor ok. So this is a bar of semiconductor which will have some resistance rho L by ok. Ok so this is what we keep saying you that this is needed because in case you are using accuracy then you may need them also. Okay, so another method of solving the same amplifiers which I earlier did this is my method uh, which I always say that you know you can look at the solving any equations or solving any circuit by very different small signal analysis not really very different but interesting way. So I just always want to show you how do I can solve other ways. Let us say this is a common source amplifier which is biased by a constant current biasing which is constant current biasing is IDS is constant fixed current source. Right now I also assume it is a good ideal current source what does that mean the output resistance of that current source is infinite okay. in real life if I replace this by a p channel device as a current source it is R D R 0 will actually come into picture is that correct right now it is assumed constant current source ideal in reality they may have to be modified for the real R 0 comes there. So this analysis is I just this is a technique and there is nothing great about the solutions which otherwise you will get. We know this current I D S flowing in this transistor is a function of V G and function of V D which is a standard mass transistor theory. I can use my partial uh, partial differential kind of partial differentials of this to equate some terms. I say okay change in IDS must be equal to red change I mean delta IDS by VG into delta VG step. Similarly for the VD delta IDS by delta VD into capital delta which is a step function. We know by definition change in drain current with gate voltage is essentially GM. Change in drain current with VD drain voltage is essentially G0. Okay. So we rewrite delta IDS is GM delta VG plus G0 delta VG. If I convert into differential forms it is delta DV, DIDS is GM DVG plus G0 DVD. In our case change in VG is essentially the input signal AC signal so G A V N is DVG V0 is DVD which is the output AC signal which is nothing but change in the drain voltage is because of the small AC signal which is applied at the input 
is that okay this is as i say many people believe that uh, you know this is better way of explaining the two port parameters which you have must have learned or you must be learning now somewhere s parameter a b parameter h parameter how do we get parameters from any transfer functions this is how we get it okay so that's the technique i'm showing you how do i get two port network solutions this is how one can try any two ports or any n ports in fact longer di difficulties in solving so now i have equation delta ids is del gm del uh, vn plus g0 dvd okay so here is that expression which it will appear may i put it now so i get delta ids is gm vn plus g0 v0 as amplifier is biased in constant current source there is no change in current okay so g delta ids is zero which is equal to gm vn plus g0 v0 if i take a ratio of v0 by vn it is minus gm by g0 g0 is the output conductance which is 1 upon r0 so it is minus gm r that's the expression we derived okay this is called intrinsic gain of a mos amplifier why it is intrinsic no load resistance was used instead of load we have constant current source with infinite output resistance for that is that clear so this is gm times r0 okay now if we take the first order model using an rd now instead of constant current source the and let's say there is a series resistance with the source and then and let's say some capacitance cgs is taken care and right now assume that cgd is open circuiting at a frequency of my interest then i say vn is rg equivalent so there is a cgs which is holding the vgs voltage then it is gm times vgs r0 shunted by rd so this is as, and in all these cases vsb is taken zero that is source and bulk are grounded unless specified don't use those terms if i specify something or indirectly specifying it look for that value and substitute in gm b vsb terms and solve for it okay what is that you have to do is just add many times 0.6 1.1 plus 0.6 gm is good enough as a gm b equivalence of that so you can need not solve many times just add instead of 1 put 1.6 and you can get rid of much of the solving this is for hand calculation so this much assumptions may not be very absurd but in real life you may have to calculate actual values given doping given everything and then figure out what is the gmb values you get okay so if this is my equivalent circuit why i am doing it i want to give some numbers which is very interesting in designs and that's why i am trying to look for them is it okay this is equivalent circuit there is nothing great all that i put two terms here and additional term r d here so this is still low frequency that cgd is open circuiting 1 upon omega cgd is still infinite infinite enough to neglect open it so the transfer function from output to input which is the gain function avs which then can be written as gm r0 parallel rd i should have put a minus sign here because the phase opposite okay now we can use some derived values for gm cgs r0 which we already derived in our device theory and earlier we said gm is 2 ids by vov which is vgs minus vt the excess voltage so those who had taken a course of my analog like surveys there and many others Uh, there is a difference in approach when i come to design a course the basic i cannot change i mean analog amplifier will give me gains but how do i derive and how do i actually get design for it is what i am now showing so it's nothing extraordinarily different from what we learned in second year but even then it's worth looking at it the cgs value we calculated other day it is 2/3 w by c ox in saturation if you wish you can use one se wal c ox term as well two third can be made one but if you want to keep and i do keep sometimes so i am keeping it but as i say if someone puts it this nothing very absurd will happen r0 is 1 upon lambda ids which is the current then avs 
and A V 0 is defi defined as, sorry it is minus everywhere, is G M parallel R 0 R D, you can see from here sorry, I will just put it and come back. The current in this parallel resistance of R 0 R D is what G M V G S current is flowing through. So, minus G M V G S into R 0 parallel R D is my V 0. So, that is what exactly is G M R 0 R D is my D C gain and if, if you say R D is much smaller than R 0, it is minus G M R D. If R 0 is much smaller than R D, it is G M R O which case this will occur the second first one is normal resistive loads the second is the case when the biasing is constant current source okay in that case r0 will be uh, uh, rd will be much uh, larger compared to this and in that case probably this term can be uh, that's why i say intrinsic okay so intrinsic case so once we do this so what is the trick I am trying to show you, I am trying to derive some expressions for G M I D S and G M C G, G M by C G. So, I, these are the two uh, expressions I am going to use in my design. So, I want to get those expressions from what I am writing. I normally use a term which I will show you later R O parallel R D small R O D which is R O parallel R D and then you can replace it by either R O or R D depends on the values okay. or you do not you solve it and automatically it will one of the term may go if it is much smaller or much higher. Okay. Is it okay? So, having done this, if R O D is R 0 as, as I said in that case, A V 0 is minus G M R O, then I can write R 0 by A V 0 is 1 upon G M from this expression 1 upon G M magnitude wise. Okay. Then I say G M by I D S, I know is 2 by V O V. I know G M by C G S is to 3 by 2 I had derived last time mu V by L square. Then these two terms I will call them as figure of merit figure of merit for analog designers. I repeat which are the two terms I am going to design for G M by I D S and G M by C G S. Please take it this G M by C G S is essentially F and we will see what that term is okay that is why it is called figure of merit. G M ideas is a figure of merit because it decides what it decides some way the power it decides the bandwidth and therefore, the gain as well. So, that is the figure of merit okay. So, what is G M by ideas and what is G M by C G S will decide every aspect of an amplifier. So, these two terms I call it as figure of merit okay so what is the major decision for any analog designer is to choose proper vov you can see expression everywhere you are only seeing vov so if you can choose proper vov so that the power dissipation the gain and the bandwidth specs are met is that correct so what is the designer spec vov is that clear V G S minus V T, how much excess voltage you want to keep for the bias requirements is all that matters in decision of making power dissipations gain as well as the bandwidth, is that correct. Somehow I, though I am keep telling you all this at the end I say I do not like this V O V term very much and I will re revert back to saying I will not use this, but initially I may say okay, V O V is a great term which allows me to design every spec which I am really looking for the so, choice of V O V. Typically what do you expect the value of V O V should be in a smaller technologies now any any idea let us say I am working on 1 volt uh, supply what should be typical V G S minus V T will be 0.2 volt. So, typically it will be around 200 milli volts is kind of V O V values you will have to choose. So, one technique is fix V O V do something or fix something else and let vary V O V. Okay. So, we are we are trying to design based on these features. Okay. Okay, so, is that clear? So, V O V in my opinion is one of the major factor which designs the circuit performance. What are the three parameters I am looking for in amplifier? The gain, the power dissipation and the bandwidth. Okay. One term which I have not said maybe I will have separate chapter to that uh, separate uh, 
talk a lot many on that which is the noise part. We are assuming as if everything is nice for us, in reality the killing part will come from the noise part and also temperature part, which we assume as if everything is fine. All models are fitting into all our requirements, which may not be really true. Okay. So, the whole why spice or why everything is because all such variations analytically solving for all of them simultaneously becomes very clumsy, not that impossible, but very clumsy. So, it is much easier to go on a CAD tool to solve that. Okay, so, if we see this expression which I wrote here, okay, AV 0 1 plus S R G C G, same expression which I had. Now, H S is 1 of uh, G M R 0 R D 1 plus this. So, if I now substitute gain function as A V 0 1 plus S R G C G S. R G C G S has a some kind of a trans, uh, time constant means it is a pole sitting right there. Okay. Now, please remember if we have done our uh, second year course well, which we I hope so all of you have done. So, if I plot frequency versus gain and I figure out for certain frequency till certain frequency gain is constant and then of course, it goes down and goes down like this. Uh, of course, this is a 3 dB point where the gain falls by 0.7, but as a Bode's plot we can actually connect two slopes and this frequency from where the gain starts falling is our bandwidth okay, up to which gain is constant. Now, few things I must know, I want to increase this A, I, that means I am really looking for something like this in real life. I want larger gain, larger bandwidth and also in turn power should not go up. That is what I am asking myself and then I will say are baba itna nahi, kuch, kuch do mujhe. Then I will say what I can actually work with, so that the third parameter may help me to get what I want. So, two I can get, maybe third I will have to give up. So, within a given range if I can fit that, then I say I have design an amplifier. Is that okay? So, my worries are bandwidth gain. What is this term essentially? See if I plot it in dB, then this is 0 dB unity gain. So, this is the point G gain into bandwidth is that correct and this point actually we may uh, like you can do like this. Okay. You have many ways of moving this point. Okay. So, we will see how can you play games that means, how many capacitors are around and where they sit where this poles positions can be changed to suit your requirements. Okay. Sometimes you additionally put capacitance, sometimes you see to it the capacitance are not really strong there. Whichever way we can adjust, we will see to it what can be done. Is that okay? So, design means given a spec, how do you play with? So, we have already said that the gain bandwidth uh, this R G C G S is related to bandwidth now because that is the only pole available to you. So, we therefore, say in the case of circuit shown by me, no CGD and no output capacitance, the dominant pole or the only pole available to you is 1 upon RGCS and that is the one which will decide the bandwidth. If we write now CGS as 2 third WL into C ox, we can write also we know GM is mu C ox W by L into V O V, we have derived this expression earlier. From here I get, I find out C ox from here and substitute in C G S. What do I do? From this G M expression, I get C ox value and then I substitute in C G S value. Is that point what clear? I use the second equation G M is C ox mu V O V. Evaluate a C ox something like this G M L by W V O V to the power minus 1 1 upon mu and then I play little game. I say okay, if you see carefully G m r 0 or r o d whichever you say is the gain, G m r o is the gain. So, gain by r o is G m. So, I replace G m by a v 0 by r o parallel r d or you can keep one of them also into length r l by w which is the aspect ratio 1 upon v o v into 1 upon mu. If I see very carefully now, this 
w 0 if I substitute back here. Now, C g s I have calculated this exp long expression, I substitute it in my bandwidth terms 3 by 2 r o d by r g 1 upon a v 0 mu upon l square into v o v. This is the expression I get for my bandwidth. Why I did all this calculations? I am looking for gain into bandwidth and I am also looking which term will actually vary for what I am looking for. There are three terms there I will show you, I will write down, I will show you this. If you finish with this, I will show you what I meant. I repeat, my worries are power, gain, bandwidth. So, I, I am trying to see expressions in a different form, so that I will see which term like say power, which of the terms in power expression which will actually enhance the power or which will reduce then reduce the power. But if I reduce this, I will come back to the other expression see if that term varies here, what will happen to the second expression which I use w for example. So, I keep writing expression for each which are of relevant for me and I keep playing games to see which term is dominating for me and when I can control. Is the design issue clear Surabhi? Is that now you understood why second year to four, uh, fourth year there is a issue okay, or rather fifth year sometimes. Okay. So, the issues are that is the design part. So, please remember what why we have a separate course on analog design a uh, VLSI design because there we only solve something okay, and we say it is fine it comes like this. Now, we are worried given something how do I match it. Okay. So, this inverse process needs much thinking then because there are many possibilities which may do that, okay. which one is better, but if you choose one then the other may hurt. Okay. So, where do we get hurt, which terms are important is design. Okay. So, is that omega 0 term is clear, so I write now same expression, if I put it here you can see now w 0 is 3 by 2 r o d by r g into 1 upon a v. Normally, these are specifications for the amplifiers, gains are functions. R g is external resistance of the source which is generally 50 ohm to 600 ohms depends on the source you use. R o d is normally R d if you are putting a resistor there that is something which you have fixed. If you have put as a channel length somewhere you are fixing R o. Okay. So, this we say is essentially specs related first few terms 3 by 2 R o d by R g into 1 upon a v 0 is a specs related. The second term there is mu by L square, this is not in my hand, it is a technology people will say okay, this is the best mobility I can give and this is the length of the technology node I have used 0.18 micron, 0.13 micron, 90 nanometer, whichever technology L and mu is decided them, we have no control whatsoever on them. Okay. So, this is whatever technology gives that is the spec for, I mean you cannot change. Okay. Let us look at the power, uh, dissipation is I d s is the current power supply is V d t. So, the DC power dissipation is V d t times I d s. If I substitute that I d s expression from the ex this I can rewrite, please check it A v 0 is related to G m, please remember what is gain? G m times R o d is that correct? G m can be written uh, in terms of what is that? I d s by 2 I d s by V o V manipulate expression that is what I am keep telling you I just manipulate few, few things. So, I get half V d d by R o d A v 0 and V o V. Now, we observe if I want to reduce power dissipation what should I do? This is all fixed 